For centuries, optical microscope techniques have been using focused light to obtain images of the cells. One problem, however, is that the imaging depth is limited to one millimetre. This is due to a scattering of light, which is also called optical diffusion. High resolution imaging beyond the diffusion limit is what imaging scientists are looking for. This is now possible with a novel method called photoacoustic imaging. This is a hybrid technique and works on the principle of photoacoustic effect, which was discovered by Alexander Graham Bell in the 1880s. This phenomenon occurs when light is absorbed by an object causing a rise in temperature, followed by thermal expansion and production of a sound wave. Photoacoustic imaging includes photoacoustic microscopy and photoacoustic tomography. In photoacoustic microscopy, a focused laser beam scans the sample point by point. The sound produced, due to photoacoustic effect, is then detected by a single transducer. In photoacoustic tomography, an expanded laser beam scans the sample and acoustic waves are detected by multiple transducers. Since sound scatters less than light, images of greater detail can be obtained, even at greater depth. This enables the imaging of a biological sample in its living state. Image contrast in photoacoustic imaging is based on optical absorption rather than optical scattering. Since it's based on absorption, you do not necessarily need a, a labeling reagent. So you can choose your laser wavelength such that it is absorbed by some natural uh, color within our tissue. The application of photoacoustic imaging is quite broad and preclinical results are promising and suggest that they can be translated into clinical practice. In the future, it can be established as an effective method in the early diagnosis of various diseases, such as cancer. It is a potential functional imaging technique, not only looking at structures. The structures we can clarify without such uh, modern techniques much, by much simpler means. But I think functional imaging is, is the area where, where it should go. What happens and when? The future of photoacoustic imaging seems promising and it is one of the fastest growing techniques. Its applications are ever increasing and it is not wrong to say that together with other imaging modalities, it can one day revolutionise the field of biomedical imaging. <laughs>